Okay, Greece's rescue will rely heavily on the International Monetary Fund. My next guest says getting the IMF involved could be a big mistake. We welcome European Central Bank Executive Board member Lorenzo Bini Smaggy. Mr. Bini Smaggy, thank you so much for joining us. Hello. Okay, you Hello, know. Thank you. Thank you. you know, I wanted to just start off because we just wrapped up this interview with the former Fed Chairman Alan Greenspan. He worried quite a bit about the U.S. fiscal deficit situation here in the United States, but also warned uh, that we are seeing that play out right now in Greece. Uh, is, this, uh, you know, is this aid package or this proposal going to be enough to bring Greece's deficit in control? Well, I think um, actually Greece has already taken the measures. Uh, they have adopted a package 4% of GDP for, for this year. Uh, it has gone through the Parliament. Uh, I think what is needed is that the markets believe that this is sufficient and, uh, and start lowering interest rates. And if this is needed, uh, uh, in order to do that, uh, we might uh, have to support Greece, our governments may have to support Greece, and this is what has been agreed yesterday. And how likely do you think that's going to happen? Well, we will see. The reaction of the markets is very positive uh, in the last few hours. So it might even need that this announcement uh, is sufficient uh, to convince markets to get in back and buy uh, at the next issuance uh, Greek uh, government bonds. But if needed, uh, governments have committed, uh, together with the IMF, to support Greece. So we will see. But. Um, I think the worst has been avoided, and uh, we have a solution now. Right. So this should be reassuring for everybody. But Mr. Bini Smaggy, I mean, weren't you the one that said, though, if we if we see any type of IMF involvement in aiding Greece, that this would hurt the eurozone and also the euro? Well, I think that uh, the idea would have been um, a European solution, uh, because ultimately. It was the responsibility of European uh, governments, starting from the Greek uh, one, but also the others who did not uh, have enough surveillance of the Greek situation to implement and to force Greece to do the adjustment and support Greece. Um, finally, we had a solution with uh, an IMF involvement. I, have, I think we have to live, to live with it. We'll make it work. Yeah, but did you it change has, your uh, mind? It has yes. to work uh, but, but, also with. Uh, but I don't. But I just no, want to make. Think, make uh, did you, know, you change your mind world, on this? There are first best solutions. No, I think uh, we live in a world in which second best solutions are sometimes the most realistic one, and uh, we have to make it work. We'll make it work. Uh, are you concerned, though, that this is going to create a moral hazard among other countries that are in trouble, such as Portugal, for instance, that they're going to see uh, that the European countries are going to come together, that the IMF is there to bail them out? But, you know, moral hazard uh, exists if a country gets out of a crisis without paying anything. Now Greece is paying a, a very tough uh, correction, 4% of GDP. Uh, I think Greek people are not that happy, uh, but they have to do it. So I don't think, I don't see any moral hazard in Greece right now, and I don't see, I see actually countries now starting to make the adjustments ahead in order to avoid to get into a situation like the Greek one. Because I don't, I don't think any country wants to be in the same situation just for the, for the good of being, uh, of receiving support from the others. I think that's the uh, okay. last, last uh, situation the one last would resort. like to get into. Right. Okay, Mr. Bini Smaggy, thank you so much yeah. for joining us.